Howdy folks, how you doing? It's Heath and it's time for another great episode from the Frontier Survival Channel. Thanks for tuning in. And if you don't mind, hit that thumbs up down below. It always helps uh, with the channel. Um, that being said, we got a gear review for you today. We are in the survival shed at the moment, but we're going to take this to the woods and we're going to review this bad boy right here. Can you see that? It's called the Omniblade by Terex. And it is a hatchet, a machete, a hammer, a saw, and a knife all together. And if you can see the outline of that there, you see what I'm saying? There's the axe, there's the machete, different things like that. We'll show this thing off in the woods, though. But the Omniblade is the perfect tool for survival and bushcraft applications, it says right here. Like building a shelter, clearing brush, hunting and fishing, trapping, fire maintenance, and foraging. All right here. Uh, with the Omni Blade. So guys, we're going to take this to the Frontier Woods right here up this East Kentucky holler and we're going to test this bad boy out and give you a good review. Stick with me. Alright guys, we're getting ready to head out into the woods to uh, show off this Omni Blade, see what it'll do. And uh, guys, as you see, when there's snow on the ground here in Kentucky, here in the eastern woodlands of eastern Kentucky, up the holler. And uh, that being said, we got more Tales from the Holler, that series, it's coming out. We'll, we'll have uh, more episodes of that as well. But let's check out the Omniblade, guys, and we'll go ahead and head on into more deep woods. All right, guys, here we are deep in the woods. As you see behind us, we got a lot of a lot of brush there. Are we going to clean it all up? Probably not, but we are going to test this bad boy out with a little bit of it. And this is, like I've been talking about, the Omni Blade, guys. And as you see, it's machete, a hatchet, a hammer, a knife, a saw, uh, a great all-around survival wilderness bushcraft tool. Um, exactly. But um, we also... Uh, want to let you know that it is uh, wrapped or it comes with a sheath that covers the hatchet covers the blade of the machete as you see that right there uh, it snaps off well they're not too hard to undo you can grab a hold of them unsnap them there and then down the side it unsnaps and then you see it exposes the saw right there the omni blade guys um, we showed this up on some live streams uh, we've Got this gear review going right now, so uh, there you have it. But as you see right there, Omni Blade. Um, of course, there is your saw, machete, the hatchet, guys. Um, I'm sure if you choke up on it, you can use it as a knife. And then there's somewhat of a hammer there. I'm sure it'll drive a, a tent peg, right? Wrapped in paracord, the handles are. You can handle right here for machete, handle right here for hatchet. Uh, great. Uh, Pretty good looking tool. I'm not sure how well it will feel in the hand, but we'll find out. Um, you might want to wear gloves. We'll find out that as well. But we'll see what we got. We got some brush here we're going to try to chop down. First, we're going to see the machete and see how that does. All right, guys, as you see, we're getting ready to weld the machete and see how well it does. Uh, the machete on the Omni Blade. Got a couple little saplings right here we're going to try to cut down. 
bend them over just a bit. That's probably always the best. Let's see what it does. All right, guys, what do you think? Um, yeah, I bent it down, but really that's probably the, the, the best uh, actual technique is bending it and then cutting it, right? Done pretty good. It actually did. Got one more. Let's see what it does. All right, awesome. And we could probably trim them down even more, I would believe. Okay, and the machine does pretty good. We can try something a little bit bigger. Let's uh, ease the camera up just a tad bit. Let's see about, I don't know, maybe this deal right here. Now this is stuff that's in the way, right? So now we'll just go around something here. Now we know if it cuts this, the machete's pretty decent. I mean, we don't know how big of a step we'll cut. We'll, we'll try something else out here. Not too bad, not too bad. Guys, let's check out the hatchet. All right, guys, now the hatchet. Now, we got some kind of dead stuff sitting right here we're going to try the hatchet out with. I don't know if it would do good with green. We, we might try to figure that out, but we'll, we'll see what we do here. Hatchet, guys. Not too bad. All right. Now, I see this gets a little bit bigger as we go along. Cut that off pretty good. So see, you know, not too bad, right? I, I did say it was somewhat dead. You see some green there, right? Don't you? So uh, there's the hatchet. Uh, we are, uh, you know, it does pretty decent, I think, for what it is. Uh, the Omni Blade seems like a very good uh, deal so far. Guys, let's check out the saw. Guys, we are going to do the saw now. As y'all see that saw back there, we'll check out and see what that does with this dead... Uh, Somewhat dead piece of wood. Here we go. Well, guys, you can see I've sawed quite a bit. It took me a few seconds to get that. It's eat through it somewhat. I'm sure it could go more, and actually all we really needed to, need to do is test out this uh, hammer. Now that's the, the hammer, I'm assuming. Um, you can either go like that or hold it like this. Of course, your blade, yeah, that's not going to work. So the hammer, we'll see. Uh, don't work too good. But we finished chopping through it with the axe. As you see, I am wearing gloves, guys, so uh, I will tell you this. It, uh, my honest opinion, that it feels better in the hand uh, wearing the gloves uh, with these uh, paracord handles, but it can, it can be used, most definitely. Uh, the, the machete so far is good. I believe the axe, the hatchet so far is good. Uh, the saw, the hammer, uh, we'll figure something out there, but uh, it leaves to be desired, but... Uh, Honest review, guys. So uh, there you have it. We are going to uh, see how well it carves with the knife deal. So we'll, we'll be right back with that. All right, guys. If you can look at that, you can see I've separated that paracord there. So that's somewhat of a reason why it might not feel so good in the hand. Uh, you probably can stitch that back together and make it good. See there, I have done it somewhat already. Um, of course, if you choke up on this, I guess that's where you can do some type of carving with it, right? So that's where the knife comes in. But then there you got that. And then the paracord there is all right. Pretty good, as you see. Uh, I have beat this thing up pretty good, but there is no dents, uh, no dings on that axe, on that hatchet, or the machete blade, not too much. Uh, nothing really at all. And I have uh, given it some good wax. Uh, the paint has come off somewhat, but uh, the Omni Blade uh, logo is still there. So uh, we still got to try to figure out that hammer and uh, this, that, the other. But uh, I think uh, they know what they're talking about. Omni Blade seems like a pretty good deal. Um, let's uh, do a little carving now. Let's show off, see this knife deal. I cut me off a little piece right here. So as we can see, we can, we can, uh, yeah, you can choke up on that, even push with your thumb. 
to carve out a tent stake of some sort, maybe, as you see there. Let's turn it around just a little bit there, get this side. I mean, it's chewing into it. It's, it takes some, some work, some force, but you can make you a little point there. Of course, it could be better. <laughs> Uh, but then, uh, you know, you could take uh, the actual machete or the, or the hatchet and then chop that down. And then you'd have your tent peg, right? So, uh, not too bad. The knife seems decent. The hammer seems so-so. Uh, the saw is so-so. The machete and the hatchet are uh, probably the best, my opinion. And, uh, of course, I told Terex, Omniblade Terex, that... Uh, I would give my honest opinion. I hope they like this video. But uh, with that being said, I want to show you this. Can you see all this stuff here, guys? See? Really, if you look at this closely, and we'll try to bring it up just a little bit here. You see that bow and some of that dead standing stuff? Or that's laying across? If I cut that brush out there, guys, I could make a shelter there. Just string a tarp over that. And... Uh, you know, not too bad. So let's see what we can do there with the machete. Gotta watch yourself sometimes. All right, quite a few whacks, right? But it does seem like it does pretty good. You can throw that out of the way. Whack a few more things there. And with a little work here, guys, we would have us a pretty decent shelter. With that being said, so all in all, I think the Omni Blade is a decent tool for the price point that it is. You got the axe, the hatchet, axe, whatever, hammer, saw, knife, machete, um, all in one bushcraft tool, if you will. We well, do appreciate you watching this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed the B-roll that we put in towards uh, the beginning with that being said we continue to appreciate all your support we are asking you to keep supporting us if you will we'll always have dynamite wednesday night we'll have more from the series tales from the holler and more great videos like this gear reviews and adventures later on this year with that being said guys we appreciate you and remember, you got to have drive to survive.